Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Today I just thought I would share with you all the presents that we bought Isla for her first birthday. So her birthday is coming up, it is the 6th of July. We are so excited. We've got two parties planned, one with friends, like some a group of our friends and one with family. So they're all going to be at our house this year and um, yeah, I'm really excited to just celebrate the year that's been. I mean, it feels like Isla's been here obviously forever and I can't imagine my life now <laughs> without her in it. But um, it's yeah, just crazy how quick the year has gone. But there's obviously been times when living in it that it's felt maybe like Groundhog Day or that like it's just been filled with so many highs and so many lows or you know hard moments but um yeah that's why I just wanted to make sure that we celebrated this massive milestone not only for Isla but for my partner and I that Barney yes you can see Barney there he's probably going to move potentially throughout the video um but yeah I hope you enjoy so we've not gone too crazy I mean I obviously know that we're so incredibly fortunate to be in a position where we can purchase so many lovely gifts for Isla, but it took me a while to kind of know what I wanted to get her, to be honest, because one, it's just a bit of a weird age, you know, she's not walking yet, but I'm sure soon she will be, even if it's like a few months after, you know, her first birthday, she might be walking. Uh, she's kind of crawling now, which is really exciting. It's only happened this past, you know, over the past few days. She's been rolling loads and been able to get to where she wants to go, but now she's kind of actually crawling and using her knees to get to where she wants to go. I think the longest kind of stretch she's done is like five little crawls, um, and then she kind of rolls and sits up and stuff like that. So I just know the next over the next few weeks she's just going to become more active and I'm already thinking maybe we should have purchased like lots of childproofing stuff but obviously that's not meant to be for Isla's present that's just you know standard of what you need to get um and, you know I was kind of trying to sway away from like getting clothes and things even though she does need clothes but I just wanted to get things that she'll hopefully be able to appreciate and use over the summer outside um as well as kind of grow into them as well. So here we go. I've only been to two stores um, to get Isla's first birthday gifts. So that is Aldi. So I was doing an Aldi shop and happened to go in those dreaded middle aisles knowing full well that if there was anything that I saw for Isla's birthday, then I would be getting it. <laughs> so the first one is, yeah, Aldi. So like most babies, Isla loves bubbles. So we've not actually got a bubble machine. I don't know if I should want to get one for more inside, um, but this one looks like it would be good for outside. So it includes the bubble solution. Basically what you do is you dunk the machine into that bit where, which the solution will be in and lots of bubbles appear. So yeah, this was just in the middle of the aisles um, in Aldi. So how much was this one? I've got the receipt here. So the bubble blaster was $3.99. So I thought, just can't go wrong. And it looks like it might be decent. So we'll definitely uh, be giving that a whirl. And the next one is a pool. So I've been looking at different paddling pools and I came across this one obviously in Aldi. And this one was $4.99. So again, I felt like I couldn't really go too wrong. So I think there was a dinosaur themed one or a whales theme. I just thought I'd just go with the whales, even though I love dressing either up in dinosaur stuff. But yeah, went the whale option and it's just three rings and hopefully it won't be too difficult to blow up. Obviously it says two plus, um, but yeah, I'm sure Isla will have a nice little paddle in there at some point and she'll obviously grow into it. The next one is a whale sprinkler, so like you know, fully diving into the whale theme. So I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> so we'll attach that to the hose, um, and then yeah, use that as a little sprinkler that I think she'll like. So let me just see what the price. This one was again four ninety nine, but again, 
just in the middle aisles of Aldi. I don't usually go down there because I know what I'm like. And then the last um, thing from Aldi was just this little book and I'm thinking it was $2.49, this one, yeah. So Aldi's got loads of books. I mean, where you're propped on now, the shelf, there's loads of books there. But I just thought this was nice as it's doggies and Isla really likes dogs. So yeah, more for me, but yeah, Isla will like it, I'm sure. <laughs> So I wasn't really expecting obviously to get Isla's presents from Aldi but I mean I love Aldi and I just happened to be there and I had loads of things kind of on a list that I wanted to get Isla and when I went to Aldi they just had you know the bubbles I wanted definitely wanted to get her um, the pool and then the sprinkler I just thought you can't really go wrong with that and I think there's quite a few um, you know I've got nieces and nephews so I think they'll enjoy that at the party, Isla's party as well. I'm hoping it's going to be nice weather because it's going to be July. Hoping it's going to be, you know, a day where we can all be outside, having good food, good company, and the kids having a good time as well. So the next shop is Asda. Now I am pretty sure I've worked out all the prices, but when looking, I'm like, I'm not sure if I've got it right. But anyway, so I'll go with the most expensive item from Asda first. <laughs> so this bad boy, it says two plus years on it. Um, but I thought, I think I've been looking at them because I thought Isla can obviously she can stand up. She likes to stand on her. She's got a little activity table that she likes to stand on. And she's only obviously going to become more stable than what she is now. So I thought it was good and it comes with a few, oh, what does it do say? Set includes section table, bucket, watering can, flowering watering gear, um, one times accessory, two times tools and five times sand moulds. So I need to get some sand for it, but I think at the moment she'll just obviously enjoy the water. Um, but yeah, I thought that was just nice and again, something that she can grow into. So when I saw that at Asda, I was really pleased. I've, I've been looking at secondhand ones because obviously I want to try and cut costs down where I can. But secondhand ones, I couldn't really, some of the pictures like on Facebook Marketplace that were close to us, I couldn't really see the whole um, table to see if it was like a bit mucky. And I mean, it's 20 pounds and hopefully we'll get a lot of use out of it. So the next one is, a ball pit. So I had been looking at ones, you know, in, at other places. But I really wanted one that would just collapse down because, you know, I want to be able to use it inside and outside as well. And I just think realistically having one indoors that's always propped up just isn't ideal because, you know, space. So this, I believe, was eight pounds, I'm going to say. Again, just from Asda. I was thinking, oh, should I go aesthetic and get one that's like neutral? But I mean, yeah, there was no ones like that that could just easily fold up. And when you have kids, you just realize that you can't go, you can't get things that are really aesthetically pleasing. Like I'll show you, Isla's got <laughs> that bouncer, nice and bright and pink. And she's got this bouncer, nice and bright and pink. And she's got that activity, don't mind the receipts, um, this activity table that she absolutely loves. You just realise that you can't get things that are either neutral or like greys or anything like white. So yeah, going with bright green and blue <laughs> ball pit. And of course, what's a ball pit? Without some balls. And this packet was seven pounds. Again, Asda. But I'm not sure if I need any more. But we'll just go with these and see how that is when she's in them and see if we need to get more. If we need to get more, we'll get more. But for now, I think that's um, that's the perfect amount. Isla's going to the stage where she is obsessed with our remotes. So I saw this and thought, like flashes, let's see if she'll be happy with this one rather than our remote. I mean, I can already see her totally not wanting um, to use this, but yeah, this one was, I think it was six pounds. So again, from Asda. And then I got her this little bluey plate. So Isla loves watching bluey. We love watching bluey. I think this was two pounds, two pounds 50. Yeah, so I mean, Isla's got plenty of plates 
So she's got a couple that are like sectioned like this. So I thought as she gets older, she's gonna be using the planks more like this rather than the little bowls. So I thought, why not go for a bluey plate? Then we've got chalk. So I know Isla's obviously only really little, but I thought this would be good for um, the kids that are coming to the parties and just good for my entertainment as well. But obviously Isla can watch the kitties, um, you know, doing some coloring and I'm all for just giving one to Isla and seeing if she just scribbles or just looks at it, but hopefully not putting it in her mouth. But obviously I'll watch her really closely with it. But yeah, I thought that would just be fun. So this was two pounds, I'm pretty sure. And then I've got some bath toys, last but not least, some bath toys. So I think these were like a pound fifty. I think these were a little bit more, like maybe ooh, two pounds maybe for the little boats. Um, and then yeah, a little frog. And then the elephant. <laughs> and uh, again, a whale. So yeah, I just thought that was really nice. Oh, and sorry, can't forget these bubbles for 60p. Can't go wrong, can you? So yeah, bubble wand because her other one's running out. But yeah. Obviously, really fortunate and grateful that we can treat Isla to these things, but I've definitely tried not to go too crazily overboard or just get things that I know she'll kind of use every day in terms of like the bath toys, the plates, um, and things that she can grow into and keep using. So, yeah, that is our birthday present haul from Asda and Aldi. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to hopefully capturing some fun moments and memories made for Isla's birthday. I'm currently in the creation of, I'm creating a video for Isla um, for her first birthday. So it's kind of a compilation of all the videos I've kind of, or some of the videos, can't, I, I literally can't put all of them in else the video will go on forever. But yeah, creating a video and then I found some really nice like poems and letters that I found online that just speak true to how I feel and the love that I feel for Isla. And I'm also kind of creating my own little letter as well. So in that video, I'm hoping to do a bit of a voiceover and just kind of a, a, a tribute to Isla um, for the year that we've had. And hopefully it's you know a video that we'll look, look at in years to come and really treasure that moment because yeah, I know that these moments in this time is fleeting and although Isla won't remember this, I certainly will. I mean, I've got a shocking memory um, and that's kind of part of the reason why I wanted to vlog and capture these moments for our family is because I know you know, I mean, I've traveled with my partner. We've done some incredible things, you know, even before I met my partner. Um, I'm really fortunate that I've done a lot of traveling and just have had such, I've just got such an amazing life. But I know that, that those moments that you think are gonna like stay in here don't always. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just thought of creating that little video kind of summarise the beautiful year, the highs and the lows would be really special and I obviously we've got like over a month so Isla's still not one yet and I'll obviously post a lot of videos leading up to her party but yeah I've got I'm gonna I'm sure I'll do a video on all the decorations and the theme of her party and that kind of thing because it's an exciting time so why not why not pick up the camera and vlog but I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sure, I, well definitely the products from Asda are still online as I only purchased them recently. The Aldi um, presents that I bought, um, I'm assuming there'll still be some there as I only got them maybe two weeks ago. But yeah, if you're interested it might be, obviously this isn't, this is just a little friendly plug um, <laughs> to Aldi and Asda that if I'm sure that there'll still be some of these items online. But yeah, I hope I've given you inspo on what you can purchase for your little one for their first birthday or for their second birthday as a lot of these things are still suitable for that age, age group. But yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. And if you want, why not comment? And we can have a little conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.